Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. I would like to wish all the Scorpios a happy birthday this year. Today, November 14th, is my birthday, so I thought it would be fun to do a reading for you guys. Thank you for all your support, and again, I hope you have a great year ahead. What do we have for Scorpio? Justice, Libra energy at the foundation. And Scorpio, I just got this deck, and I was called to go ahead and use it for this reading. This is the first reading I'm using it for, and now I know why, okay? Scorpio, there's something going on behind the scenes. Let's just say in spirit. This is a balancing of energies in your life, and see how... We're seeing the justice card from a different perspective. We're seeing what's going on behind the scenes. So this is telling me that there's something going on without you even really knowing that this is taking place. This is something that is going to cause things in your life to shift in your favor. This could be related to some sort of truth that needs to come out or is going to come out. But whatever the case, there is an energy here of some sort of win in some capacity for you. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of people who have failed to take accountability for their actions against you. I feel like these were people that were really creating a lot of roadblocks for you in your life, on your path to happiness and success. I feel that you have really started to see these individuals for who they really are now. This is why there's this energy that's at play behind the scenes working in your favor. It's like the energy around your life is moving, Scorpio. What do we have at the sacral? Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Scorpio, it's like you have this universal vantage point, which is the vantage point of these cards. It's like we're seeing these cards from this different perspective, this different vantage point. This is why all of this is taking place in your life. All of this energy is finally shifting after, I feel, years, for some of you, decades of just being completely stuck. You didn't have any growth in your life. Every time you took a step forward in your life towards some sort of victory or success, you would have to take 10 steps backwards. And I know this energy well. I know it very well. I lived inside this energy for decades, couldn't receive any sort of success, blockages in all areas of my life. What it took for me personally to break out of this was to change my vantage point over my life and really reality. Put yourself in the position that God, the divine, your spirit guides have over your life. Look at your life through their eyes. Just take a moment out and imagine how they would be perceiving your life. I did this over and over again. And then finally, things started to shift. Because Scorpio, the way that energy shows up in our everyday life is a mindset change. Changing your mindset. The mindset you have over your life clearly doesn't work. But it's a mindset that you've been indoctrinated into by living inside of the matrix. See, we have to live inside the matrix. We don't have any choice about that. However, the way we perceive the matrix, we definitely have a choice in. So, if you live life, Scorpios from looking at your life from this higher vantage point, this universal perspective, right? It's like an energy of being able to see what's going on behind the scenes because you're looking at things through the universe's eyes over your life. This changes everything. This puts you in a power position. You're now starting to see the flip side to this coin here, Scorpio. See, Scorpio, if you take your mind off the actual manifestation that you're trying to bring into your life, let's just say financial prosperity here with this Ace of Pentacles, and rather look at your life and what may be creating blockages 
So clear out the blockages and then focus on bringing through this manifestation for yourself. You need to make way for the manifestation. See, this is a perspective that I never had. This is why I couldn't bring success into my life until I changed my mindset. I was always trying to bring some manifestation into my life when I didn't even realize that things in my life needed to go. Things in my life needed to be sacrificed. Behavioral patterns, addictions, however that shows up in your life. People, places, things, whatever it was, things that could not be there when this blessing comes through. See, Scorpio, our blessings are already here. It's all here waiting for us. The divine is holding it for safekeeping until we clear out the space to be able to receive. This is you now changing your perspective, your vantage point over everything I just said, Scorpio, not focused on the coin, on the money but rather focusing on what needs to leave your life to be able to receive what's already yours. This, Scorpios, is the only manifestation tool you will ever need. I can promise you that because I've put it to actual use in my own life, and I still do every day, and it works without fail. Don't focus on the manifestation, but rather focus on what needs to be sacrificed inside of your life to make way for said manifestation. What do we have at the solar plexus? Too many cards. What do we have at the solar plexus? Ace of Swords. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And now you're thinking clearly, Scorpios. Now you're able to bring through these victories into your life with ease. This is you understanding everything I just said, like, oh, wow, I never actually thought about it like that. I can't actually receive my manifestations because there's too much traffic inside my energetic field. There's too much chaos. I'm not able to to receive these blessings because the divine is holding them back because there's too much chaos inside of your life. And see, the matrix wants that chaos to be inside your life. That's why our senses are just absolutely annihilated on a daily basis by everything we see in the media. Everyday life brings chaos into our energetic sphere, so to speak. So we can't actually see things from this higher perspective. Scorpio, start navigating your life from this higher perspective and your life is going to change dramatically and it's going to happen very quickly because once you start doing this, once you start, let's say, driving the ship that is you from your higher self, from this universal perspective, you can't go back. There's no way of going back. It's an empowerment that you never thought you could possibly ever feel in your life. This is the secret sauce. This is your superpower. Each and every one of us has access to this, but it's not an easy energy to encompass. But like I said, there's a lot that needs to be cut out of your life to make way for this energy here, Scorpios. And Scorpios being a fixed sign, it's hard. It's hard to end relationships, especially those closest to us. Some of the most toxic relationships that Scorpios will have in their lifetime are the ones that they have with their family members. It's the frequency that you vibrate at, Scorpios. People feel that it's their job to create blockages in your life. People feel like it's their life's purpose to hold you back in some capacity. They may not even compartmentalize it like that, but that's really what it comes down to. That's how it shows up in your life. Being held back by individuals that you thought had your best interest in mind, only to realize that, no, they really have their own best interest in mind, and they're going to do what suits them best in their life. People like to feel like they own Scorpios. It makes them feel powerful. Because of the potential of transformation that Scorpios hold inside of them, you know, People feel like if they can hold a Scorpio back from transforming, that makes them godlike. It makes them powerful. The Scorpio Collective would be the last zodiac sign to ever hold back anybody. In fact, Scorpios sacrifice a lot of their life trying to help other people get forward, putting other people on a pedestal. Scorpios are guilty of giving too much of themselves. Overactive heart chakra energy. Scorpios want to see other people succeed. But this... 
is a toxic trait of Scorpios. It's a low vibrational Scorpio trait that needs to be transmuted because once a Scorpio realizes they need to put themselves first, put their own self on the pedestal, and drive themselves towards success, you're put in a position to collectively help many people all at once transform merely by telling your story laying out examples of how you did it. So it's very important, Scorpios, that you get comfortable with releasing toxic energies in your life. The more toxic energies you can release in your life, the better off you will be. For every toxic energy you sacrifice in your life, Scorpio, the divine will replace it with something new in your life. A new high vibrational relationship, success in your business, success in some sort of creative venture. Something, something will come to you to replace what you have had to sacrifice. Because like I said, again, it's very hard for Scorpios to let go, especially family members, relationships. It hurts. It literally rips our hearts out. But I can tell you from experience that once you start releasing all of these energies the divine will replace it in your life it took me decades to understand this and now since i've put this into action into my own life i've never looked back and what's interesting here as well scorpio these energies that you end up having to release really show you their true colors and you find yourself in a space of wishing you would have done it sooner but don't fret scorpio okay Everything is happening in your life in divine timing. You're right where you're supposed to be right now. What do we have with the heart? Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy at the heart. And this literally is what I just said. Page of Pentacles is all about things that are new, new money, new jobs. And what I'm speaking about here, about releasing something toxic, to release something high vibrational. This is a very practical way of navigating your life, Scorpios. Okay? This is actually how you manifest. And it's so strange that we go throughout such a large portion of our life not realizing this. Well, you're not seeing anything positive come into your life because you have this toxic weirdo still in your life that's been vampirizing off of your energy for decades could be a family member, could be a friend, whoever. It's like you're sacrificing your own happiness and well-being and success merely to appease this individual. Oh boy, I know this energy very well. Oh, very, very well. It's like, what are you here for, Scorpio? Are you here to appease other individuals and remain stuck in your life? Are you here because you're seeking abundance and happiness in your life? Page of Pentacles energy at the heart chakra. Are you giving too much of yourself, overactive heart chakra? Or are you giving back to yourself in order to achieve success in your life? You need to ask yourself this question, Scorpios, and you need to start auditing energies in your life. There's nothing wrong with doing this. Think about the individuals in your life and think about maybe how they perceive being in your life. Ask yourself, what does this person truly bring to my life? Try and put it into one word. See what you come up with, Scorpios. What do we have at the throat? Wow. Wow. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. This is an energy of moving on, Scorpios. Withdrawing your energy. It's like you've already learned all the lessons there is to learn with these individuals. There's nothing left for you there. A lot of you really need to close out these cycles. It's time, okay? Quite often I'll see comments underneath some of the videos, and this is all zodiac signs, people getting frustrated, getting mad, because perhaps there's a reading where I'm talking about success and this individual is getting mad because they're not seeing success in their life. But it's because this individual is not releasing things from their life. And they say that in these comments too most of the time. I don't want to get rid of this. I don't want to get rid of that. Okay, well then I don't know what to tell you. This is not a game. This is your life. Stop making up excuses for other people's crappy behavior towards you. Stop making up excuses for behavioral patterns that you need to release. Stop making up excuses for quite possibly addictions that some of you need to release. It's time to start moving on. 
Eight of Cups. Pisces energy at the throat. What do we have at the third eye? Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. And again, it just further reiterates what I just said. Okay, Ten of Swords is all about closing out cycles. It's like you have these new beginnings. You have these new starts. It's an energy of recovery on the other side of these cycles. And Scorpios, these cycles are never ending. Even high vibrational ascended Scorpios are still closing out cycles. It's just something that happens throughout the duration of our life. The more we release, the more we ascend, because the more we position ourselves to be able to receive blessings to function inside of our purpose. You see, the divine wants to be able to bless you with financial prosperity, which is already yours. Like I said, it's already here. You just need to be able to position yourself to receive it, right? Because the divine needs you in your allocated position, the position that was chosen for you in this universe before you even incarnated here. We need you there functioning inside of your purpose. Once you are in that space, then we can give you your blessings so you can make a real world impact doing whatever it is you do inside the collective. This is where the divine's trying to get you, closing out these cycles, ten of swords at the third eye. What do we have at the crown? Ace of pentacles again. So we have two ace of pentacles on this table. And again, further reiterates what I just said. Being in your allocated position in the universe so the divine can bring through financial prosperity for you so you can make a real world impact functioning inside of your purpose. I don't know how much clearer I can possibly make it here, Scorpio. This is a very clear cut reading. It's like you have this whole new path for you unfolding, Scorpios, behind the scenes. You don't even know it. You're just stuck inside some sort of karmic cycle with individuals, not really seeing any progress in your life when there's a whole universe being manifested for you behind the scenes. All you need to do is is release energies. You don't even have to go out and get anything. You just need to release energies from your life. You need to detoxify yourself of these negative energies in your life, however that shows up for you. And again, it's going to be people, it's going to be places, it's going to be things, it's going to be behavioral patterns, it's going to be addictions. You just need to sit down and start thinking about all the common denominators in your life. And Start thinking about what those particular things bring to your life. There is a tremendous amount of wealth and power on this table, Scorpios. Two Ace of Pentacles. This is an energy of complete happiness. And it's like when you release these energies, you start having clarity around what it is you truly desire in your life. A lot of you are out there, you're like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know why I can't do this, I can't do that. It's because of these blockages that these energies are creating in your life. Blocking your intuition, clouding your insight. It's like it's creating disruptions with that intuitive channel between you and the divine. You can't see your way forward because of the people, places, things, behavioral patterns, addictions you have in your life, Scorpios. Okay? So before you start getting mad at the universe as to why you're not seeing growth in your life, you need to really start taking a good look in the mirror and thinking about what it is you need to release and being very honest with yourself about this. And Scorpios, I can say this, okay, to you guys because I've been through this. The things that I refuse to let go of in my life were the deciding factor. The very last things that I let go of because there was nothing left to let go of were the final piece to the puzzle. They were literally the things that were stopping, completely blocking me from receiving my Ace of Pentacles in my life, which I've received now, and I never thought it would be possible. I just didn't think that that's what God had in mind for me. But lo and behold, it was like that times 10. And Scorp, if you're feeling that way, just know it's the same for you. It's because there's something so great, far beyond your imagination can even conceive. So again, if you feel broken down, if you feel like the universe has forgotten about you, or you just can't do this, or you just can't do that, it's because there's something in your life that's making you feel that way, and it needs to be sacrificed, okay? Whatever it is, Scorpios. What do we have at the foundation from the occult tarot, please? Let's see what's keeping my Scorpio's root chakra blocked. Temperance. Crocell. So... These next few cards, I read these as reversals. 
because they're demon cards, negative polarity. So these are the energies that are going to be working behind the scenes in spirit to hold you back. Now, these energies can be working through other individuals in our life, or they can be behavioral patterns, things we tell ourselves. It can be an energy of us creating our own illusions in our life, holding ourselves back, sabotaging ourselves. Temperance in reverse is all about disruptive energies in your life. It's an energy of chaos affecting any sort of long-term vision that you have for yourself. It's a very imbalanced energy. A lot of you have so much going on around you, you can't focus on this, that, and the other. It almost seems impossible to try and think that you can focus on some sort of purpose in your life. You're stuck in the grind, whatever it is. You're stuck in a toxic relationship. You can't see your way out. But you have to know that those things are actually systematically placed in our lives so we can't see our way forward. The matrix is alive. It knows who we are and what we're going to do before we even come here. And the matrix is set up in a way to stop you from getting to where God told you you need to go to. And that's directly to your purpose functioning inside of a space we are positioned in such a way to give back to the collective you functioning inside of that space with a high vibration which has an incremental effect on the vibration of the planet as a whole we all play an incremental role in the vibration of the planet so it's very important that you get to that allocated position in your lifetime scorpio it's like we're all spread out across the planet in a web-like manner and we all matter we all influence the vibration that's why we're here it's a war for vibration and we're all soldiers of the light that have come here to fight a vibrational war it may not seem like that because we're inside the matrix in the grind but in spirit there's a war going on and that's exactly how it is what do we have at the sacral Nine of Pentacles, Amducius, right underneath that Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is an energy of financial setbacks. It's an energy of envy and jealousy. That's these individuals in your life. Like I was saying, they see this light inside of you. They just feel like it's their job to take advantage of you, create setbacks in your life, make you feel like, there's just no way you can achieve this or that or whatever. But this is you now seeing these individuals for who they truly are. It's like you see them for their true color. And see, it's kind of like this demon's cowering. Like, well, I, I don't know. I didn't know Scorpio was going to achieve that. I, I was just, you know, trying to bring the best out in him. Right? It's like now you're achieving success. And now they're cowering behind the scenes. Because people are looking at this person weird or these people weird. Like... Why did you hold Scorpio's back? This kind of energy, or they don't even have to be necessarily saying anything, but they're thinking it. These people that are no longer in your life are under judgment because people are starting to see them for who they truly are. They're blessing blockers, dream killers. They were the common denominator, or they are the common denominator in your lives. They were the last piece of the puzzle. And once you figured this out, or once you figure this out, everything changes, Scorpios. What do we have the solar plexus? Eight of swords, Gemini energy, folklore. See, these energies wanted you to lack ambition. They didn't want you to have any sort of focus. But this is what you're now liberating yourself from. There is an energy of freedom here, right underneath this ace of swords. But it all comes down to your mindset, Scorpios. That is it. Change your mindset, change your life. We always hear that. But right here, I'm laying out a more detailed version of that for you. What is actually going on behind the scenes? What does that really mean? It's like these energies were trying to force you to comply with their idea that they had for you and your life. This is what you're having clarity around now. And as soon as you have this mindset change, this is what changes your fortune, Scorpios. It's like cha-ching, ching, 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 ching. Scorpios had a mindset change. Bring in the double ace of pentacles. What do we have at the heart, please, for Scorpios? 
Too many cards. What do we have with the heart? Wow. <sighs> Hermit, Fergus, Streetwise. Okay, so this is like Hermit in reverse energy. This is somebody who's going the opposite direction from their purpose, Scorpios, right? And whenever I see this card, it's like somebody's going the opposite direction of their purpose, and the divine's trying to signal them, right? Let's say you're a female. The divine's like, okay, give her a beard. Maybe then she'll realize she's going the wrong way and turn around, realize something's off, right? It's an energy like this. Or if you're a male, maybe, I don't know, the divine has you growing breasts. Something like this. But what it really comes down to, Scorpio, is you in a position in your life where you're looking in the mirror and you just don't recognize yourself anymore. There's a reason for that, Scorpio. And again, I know that energy very well. I remember like it was yesterday, looking at myself in the mirror, maybe like five years ago, and I didn't even recognize myself anymore. I'm like, what happened? Where did my life go? And this is how I felt. I was influenced down the wrong path in my life. I listened to the wrong people. So I cut everybody out. I shut off the noise and just started listening to my intuition. Listening to my guidance from God and the divine and my spirit guides. And lo and behold, just like magic, it got me there. Well, imagine that. An individual listens to their intuition, doesn't listen to the people around them who don't truly want to see them be the best they can possibly be because those individuals themselves are rather broken. And broken people do not want to see other people succeed. Now, if you have parents that are broken, oh, by God, you are in for the challenge of your life, Scorpios. Because broken parents do not want to see their kids succeed. They want them right where they are. And again... I know this one from experience. This is an energy of being stuck, feeling isolated and lonely, repeating the same old mistakes year after year in your life, dating the same old people. They all hold the same energy pattern. This is the universe trying to signal you, trying to tell you that you're stuck inside karmic cycles, trying to wake you up. And you're just going further and further down the path with each passing year. Wasting your life clock minutes, aging out. And you know, once you turn around and you step into alignment with your higher self and into your purpose, you start retaining your youth again. I remember I was looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, God, I feel like I'm aging. And then as soon as I stepped into my purpose, it's like I lost 20 years. It's like the divine reignites this youthful glow inside of you. That's why a lot of people spiritually woken people look a lot younger than they actually are because it's divine source energy running through them energetically speaking they've cleared out these toxic patterns these toxic individuals toxic addictions whatever it is and they are now running on divine source energy which is lighting them from the inside and now we step into the outcome scorpios so we go from the demons to the angels, Daniel, king of wands, eloquence. This is you now, Scorpios, Take in complete leadership over your life. This is a leader. This is a very courageous individual that's overcome a lot in their life. They have a lot to say. This is somebody who has an amazing story. These sorts of stories last the ages. But this is all because you're holding on to this vision of your life, Scorpios. Don't ever let go of the vision, otherwise known as the dream you have for your life. There's a reason why you have that. And anyone who tells you that you can't achieve that, well, Scorpios, based off of this reading, I probably don't even need to tell you what you need to do there. The King of Wands is also the energy of an entrepreneur. So I feel for a lot of you this is business-related, it's money-related, but everything like this is always connected, Scorpios. Okay, you bring through this financial abundance by releasing toxic energies in your life that are creating bad influence. So you can't see your way forward. You don't need little bugs in your ear. Okay? The only voice you need to listen to is that intuitive guidance you get from God. Period. Aries Leo Sag energy with 
that King of Wands, Virgo energy with that Hermit in reverse. What do we have at the throat? Oh. Ace of Pentacles again, Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles from that deck. Ace of Pentacles from this deck. Ace of Pentacles from this deck. Three Ace of Pentacles on the table. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Kehethel, the adored God. Divine blessings. Drives away evil spirits. Rules agricultural production. And Scorpios, what's so interesting here is I was talking about looking at things from this universal perspective through God's eyes over your life. And there it is. Seeing what you need to do now. Looking at things from this higher vantage point, this higher perspective. And boom, it triggers these blessings to start showing up in your life. Three Ace of Pentacles on this table. There's a lot of wealth here, Scorpios. A lot of money. A lot of abundance. A lot of happiness. A lot of clarity. A lot of truth. A lot of success. And this is generational. This is going to last your entire lifetime. And it will be passed down to the generations that follow behind you. What do we have at the third eye? Hierophant. Hazel. God. Right there at the third eye. Scorpio, you have a whole legion of spirit guides, ancestors, individuals working in divine headquarters. Everybody is working behind the scenes in your life. You are the transformer. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. Your potential cannot be measured. That's why they're going to put the full force of the divine behind getting you to wake up to the truth in your life and who you are and what you're supposed to become. The merciful God, divine forgiveness, obtains friendship and favors of the great, secures promises. And there's God, all your spirit guides, your spirit team, and your passed over ancestors, all working in tandem behind the scenes to get you to see the truth, to get you to see what you already have waiting for you. What do we have the crown to close out the reading for Scorpio? <sighs> Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. Manadil, Virgo energy. The Honorable God. Inner and outer work helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. Well, Scorpio, you got three Ace of Pentacles on this table and a Ten of Pentacles. Just when I thought you couldn't get any more wealth on this table, Scorpio, this Ten of Pentacles popped out. Ten of Pentacles is all about affluence, legacy energy. This is exactly what I was talking about, generational wealth. This whole reading has been following what I'm saying to show you the truth, to reiterate to you in a very clear manner. I speak, the cards drop out. Not the cards drop out and I speak. This is a perfect reading, Scorpios. This is a reading of greatness. This is a reading of a collective of Scorpios that are destined for something far beyond your imagination can even conceive. This is the type of energy that changes the world. This is you standing in your allocated position in this universe, right here on this table. This is the blueprint. Just follow it, Scorpio, to this happiness that's already waiting for you, Scorpios. Scorpio, this is the energy that's available to you depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donation, Scorpio. Take care.